Welcome everyone to this latest episode of Jim and Java. I'm Jim Dempsey, your host. Well, welcome everyone to a new year and a new season of Jim and Java. It's uh, exciting to be here once again this year. And as we start 2022, it seems like the last few years have just really flown by. And it's hard to believe that we're already into 2022. And I'm excited. I'm always optimistic about a new year and a new season for our lives and what we have in store for us for the next year. And I'm excited to be here with you to be able to answer your fundraising questions for the year and to share about our community. If you're not already a subscriber, we would love to have you as a subscriber this year. We're trying to reach our next goal of a thousand subscribers and we're just excited to have you as a member of this community and excited to see how we can all increase our income and become fully funded. So let's dive right into our first question for the new year. Our first question for the new year is from James in Coeur d'Alene, Idaho. And James asks, what are the most important fundraising principles to think about as we start the new year? Well, James, I hope that you are like um, so many of those I'm hearing from already this year, that you had a great year end. And I'm, I've been hoping to get feedback from many of you and we're already starting to hear some great things. Some of you actually did double your income and some of you saw significant growth in your income from the year before. And I just, I appreciate so much all the cards and letters and notes and emails and texts that I get from people just telling me how much this channel has helped them. Uh, I really see this as a community and it's exciting to be able to see the difference it's made. First of all, I would recommend that you dive right in and finish up with any thank yous that still need to be made uh, to your donors, your partners, as as you started to get gifts on the 29th, 30th, 31st, and even some gifts that were postmarked uh, in from last year that are starting to come in now, I would say the first thing you want to make sure that you do is to finish up uh, on any loose ends that you might have from the prior year, uh, from 2021. I would really look at what are, uh, are there individuals that you need to write personal notes to? Are there individuals that you need to pick up the phone and make calls to? And also, are there individuals that maybe you even need to visit if you had some surprise gifts, yeah, I continue to talk about the critical few, those 20% that bring in 80% of your dollars. I'd really look at what is it that you can do specifically at year end to recognize those individuals. So as you start into the new year, look for those opportunities to connect through people. It's always important to remember that development and fundraising are 365 day responsibilities of ours. Development doesn't just happen a few days or a few months in the year and not just as we lead in, head into the fall and not just as we head into year end. You've got to be thinking and planning ahead. We had a lot of great tips towards the end of the year, especially about starting plan giving departments, uh, donor advised funds were uh, one of our last videos that we did. And many of the recommendations that were made were to get an early start as you are planning throughout your year. Start immediately. If you plan to start a new department or new effort, uh, hopefully you've had a chance to uh, look at the video that I've done on doing a fundraising plan. Planning ahead is just critical for your development efforts. And if you haven't already watched the video on growing donations and planning for 2022, I'll click a link above. But it's important that you begin to look at your major categories, mass, middle, and major, those three important categories for tracking your income and your income sources in those, those areas. Certainly uh, begin to evaluate and look at your direct marketing. What are you doing from the standpoint of getting the message out to the masses, then how are you adding onto a tighter group? What are you doing within that tighter group of individuals as, as, the, as our funnel starts to narrow from very wide, uh, which is our masses of donors, to a smaller group picking up with phone calls into that middle area and then getting down to that, that tip of that funnel, which is the major donor category. What are we gonna do with our major donors and our critical few that bring in a large chunk of the dollars? What are those things that we hope to do for this year? And it's just so important that you continue to look 
towards the long haul. Development and fundraising is not a sprint. It's a marathon. It takes a long time to develop relationships with people. Uh, from start to finish, it doesn't. It takes a minimum of 18 months to two years to really begin to establish a relationship with someone. So if you had a new donor, a new partner that came in towards the end of 2021, it's going to probably be the middle of 2023, even the end of 2023, till you really start to feel like you're building a relationship with that person. And that's being very proactive. You can't just receive a gift, maybe make a phone call to that person, and then not communicate again with that person. Remember, our, some of our goals that we've had and that we've presented through these videos is transformational relationships, not transactional relationships. Transactional relationships focus in on the dollars and react to gifts that are given from an individual. Transformational relationships are those relationships where you are being very proactive to develop a relationship with someone, making a phone call to them, trying to get a lunch appointment with them, go visit them in their office, drop off some gifts throughout the year, get to know their assistant or their gatekeeper, the person who manages and maintains their schedule, getting in to see that person if they're, uh, if they're a business person in the community. And make sure that you really focus in on being proactive in developing a relationship with that person. And at the beginning, it might be that the individual intentionally wants to keep a wall. And honestly, I've had situations where I've never, years of trying, gotten past that wall that a person may establish or that they only want to keep you so far or bring you in so close. Uh, and, and it's important that you understand what those boundaries are. But continue to try hard to pull people closer to you and immerse them in your organization. There's a strategy that I have mentioned numerous times. It's called win, keep, and lift. Winning people to your cause, keeping them through cultivation, lifting them through higher levels of giving. And it's very, very important that once you have won that person, you've won their heart, that they are interested in who you are, you need to work on keeping that relationship and then looking for ways to pull those people in more to get them more committed to what you're doing. Give them volunteer opportunities. Get them plugged in to be a table host at your dinners. Get them involved in other activities. And by all means, get allow them to meet with the people whose lives you're changing. If you have a rescue mission, if you have a ranch that protects women from human trafficking, introduce your partners to those people in the right circumstances and right setting. It is so important. Remember the principles that we've talked about before. People give to people justified by the cause. So connecting them with the people whose lives they're changing and they're helping make a difference. Those kinds of things are the key things that you need to be thinking about as you move towards 2022. I am so excited for you, James, and for all of our viewers today, each and every one of you, I'm excited about the opportunity that you have to make a difference in this year. And I'm just delighted to, to, to be a part of helping increase income and become fully funded. So if you aren't already a subscriber, we'd love to have you as a subscriber. Please hit the subscribe button below. Click the bell to be notified and click the all bell so that you're notified immediately of when our next video comes out. Also make sure that if you need to reach out to me, the lifeblood of Jim and Java are questions submitted by you, our community. And so please submit questions on Twitter at DevFStrats and use the hashtag Jim and Java. Reach out to me. You can message me at on Instagram or uh, we've also got a Facebook group. Look out, look for our Facebook group, Development Effectiveness Strategies. But reach out to me at on Instagram at Dev Effectiveness Strategies. And you can always reach me via email at developmenteffectivenessm at gmail.com. And as I always say, we are here and we are it's our goal to help you increase income and reach the goal of becoming fully funded. Take care. We'll see you next week.